Hello. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming, 600 people. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crack Magazine. Uh, me and Frankfurt wanted to talk to you about the collections that we recently did. Um, it's a publication by Crack Magazine. It's annual, um, but for the ones that don't know Crack Magazine, I'll tell you a little bit about our history. We've been independent for 14 years. Um, some of our notable cover stars have included MF Doom, Apex Twin, Tom York, Grimes, Skepta, and even Kylie Minogue. It was founded in Bristol in 2009 by Jake Appleby and Tom Frost. <laughs> it was very much a DIY project with a strong independent spirit, and it has slowly grown into becoming one of the most trusted and respected voices in music without any corporate backing. Um, it's so independent that <laughs> until the pandemic, we were doing all of our own distribution around the UK and also Europe, um, which we sometimes still do now. Um, we've got one guy sending all of the magazines personality, personally to everyone with no sleep at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I'm art director in Crack Magazine, and on this slide you see all of the covers that I was involved in. Um, for me, art directing for Crack is conceptualizing the overall visual narrative and choosing the best themes for the stories that we put out. And it's important for me to reflect the featured musicians' album's direction or their general visual mood. And I'll let Femke introduce her role. Um, yeah, so I'm the senior designer at Crack Magazine, and we work in a really small team. It's just me, uh, my executive designer, Manu, and my junior designer, Leia. And we cover absolutely everything from the print magazine, uh, which involves like bringing the shoots to life on the pages, as you can kind of see here, um, all the way through to commissioning, designing, uh, illustrators and designers, and working on mini branding projects in the Crack sphere and also for external clients as well. Um, so we're here to talk about the collections, which is the most recent publication that we just brought out. So we're just going to let this little intro video explain a little bit about it for you. This is the collections. It's a collection of stories and photos. And stories about photos. It brings together the voices of creatives and artists who we've been proud to work with in 2022. Our magazine is built on their creative ideas and beautiful work. This is a celebration of that work and those people. All the little details and final touches which bring our publication to life. Printed on luxury paper, this is a collectible annual for anyone who cares about music, culture and creativity. So that's a brief overview. Um, and I guess we should probably tell you a bit about why we do the collections. Um, obviously, we print a monthly magazine, and that's amazing because it's free and it's accessible for everyone. But um, we feel like all the hard work that goes into the shoots, like Michelle organizes and the design and everything, um, it all gets a little bit lost in the way that we print because we print on newsprint. Um, so the collections for us is just like a really good opportunity to showcase our work in the best possible light. Um, yeah, we feel like the quality of the work that we do like every single month um, is of actually of a really high standard and we think it deserves to be printed properly um, in a book. Um, as you might know, um, in the monthly magazine, we have a lot of much needed advertisements at the front and um, sometimes we feel like that sort of gets in the way and clogs up the content. Um, so the collections is a bit of a way for us to um, really like just lead with content and keep um, a really highly consistent visual read. Uh, it's also stocked globally and um, with the monthly magazine we can only reach sort of like city-wide audiences in the UK and in a few places in Europe. So it's a chance for us to like get our work out to the world. So Craig's independent spirit, um, it's really great and it makes it possible for us to not have to appease to a mass audience. 
um, and therefore we're not very afraid to go all out on our visuals and I think that really translates in the covers that we do and the shoots that we do. Um, and our creative community is key to our output and it's important for me as an art director to keep building on that and that community also allows for the magazine to keep that consistent high visual level, um, especially working within the parameters that we have as an independent platform. On this slide, you can see some of the BTS of our grime shoot, which was done by Charlotte Ritterford. And it's really incredible to see how an idea can come to life from idea conception to mood boarding to the shoot to the output. We shot some really amazing artists across the globe. Um, Grimes was shot in LA, but I know Charlotte's 3D artist, she, he lives in Prague, and Rema was shot in Lagos, but the post-production was in London. And there's really a lot of work behind these pictures um, that we create, and a whole team of creatives across many cities. We rely heavily on these creative teams and even more importantly on our assistants and oftentimes we don't see how much work and production really went into these shoots and like Femme says, we, we do this every month. <laughs> um, to talk a bit about the shoots that are in the collections, one of the shoots that I really valued was this Dig a D cover shoot um, where I commissioned Onda or Kevin he lives in LA and he frequently collaborates with artists like Kendrick Lamar and Kanye. And as a reference for this shoot, he used my favorite artist, Shuyi Terayama. Um, it's a movie called Smallpox as his reference without us even speaking about it before. So I really love that alignment that we had. Um, and I also love that Degadi wasn't really shot in this way before, um, which is an important part for me for the output. And here you can see um, Anunti on a shoot that we did, uh, really having fun <laughs> with my team. Um, and it's important for me that the artists are comfortable on a shoot and they're having fun and they have a good time. And that's why I choose my team sometimes because I think that the artist and the photographer will have a really great synergy. Maybe the photographer would have a similar output or music interests, but sometimes I also think that a paradox can work really well, but that would only work if there is great communication and expectation management. And we're a music magazine, so of course the musicians are essential, but the community that we're building includes a far wider range of creatives. It's stylists, it's set designers, it's beauty artists, it's designers, and for the collections, our angle this time was to really highlight that work of these creatives and our network globally, and that's something that we wish to continue in the future. So I'm just going to talk about the design decision process a little bit. Um, we feel like at Crack, like we take pride in championing artists and creative collaborators who aren't afraid to break the mold. Um, and that's kind of what we wanted to do in the design of the collections as well. So much like giving the photography an opportunity to shine, we also wanted to give the design an opportunity to do the same. So we really went to town as much as we could within the budget restrictions that we have. Um, and pulled out all the effects we could. So we have silver Pantone ink on the cover, spot UV gloss, emboss, and different paper stocks in the magazine. So we really wanted to create something a bit more textual and tangible than uh, the, print, the monthly print magazine that we have. Um, the cover was actually a really difficult thing to design because obviously we're showcasing like the best artists that we've uh, had in the magazine over the year um, and also new features with um, behind the scenes like creatives and stuff um, and we had to get all of that onto the cover which was really difficult um, so basically one one of the solutions um, is that we have uh, this clear spot UV gloss um, to highlight the artist names which is something you can't see unless you sort of like wave the publication around in the light and then you get the reflection of the names. So that was a way for us to like create more space um, and also still have all the artist names on there. Um, the design's sort of broken into three sections. So we have the uh, insights, which is like the behind the scenes collaborations um, with 
our creative community, so that's like photographers and hairstylists. And for this, we wanted to create something more sort of factual and documentary style um, in the design so we could sort of represent like the knowledge that we're sharing in these pages. Um, we have like a roundup of all of our best features from the year um, and with this uh, we really wanted to sort of reflect the exciting and like boundary pushing nature of the artists that we're covering um, which we don't always get to do so much in the monthly magazine because we're restricted by our own sort of brand guidelines, um, our like limited use of fonts um, and also our timelines and the fact that we're doing this like every single month. Um, so with the collections we really wanted to make it like way more fun and playful um, and hopefully that comes through in the design. Um, and the pace and the flow of the publication was really important to us. Um, um, hence, we've broken it up with these full bleeds sort of photo stories um, where you can really see the detail in like the best shoots that we've done over the year. Um, and these are all just like full bleeds to really let the photography shine. So, um, yeah, one of my favorites is the Luz and the Yakuza shoot, um, which is this really colorful, bright one um, because the set was amazing, the photography was amazing, and you don't really get to see that in the newsprint. So, we really wanted to let it shine. Um, and yeah, much like Michelle, we are limited by budgets. Um, so creating a publication like this is a really a fine balance between what is affordable and for something that's such a passion project um, for the magazine and also what's going to make a publication that people want to cherish and keep on their coffee table um, for time to come. So yeah, that's kind of it to, to sum things up. Um, crack story kind of started in in publishing sought after printed products and now we're creating even more bespoke printed products ourselves and also for a wide range of clients as well um, and we just wanted to say if you did want to get in touch with us about the creative work that we do um, then please email us on this email here um, and we'll be happy to send out a copy of the collections to you as well and that's kind of it Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>